All right. Uh, you know, to come out, uh, go on the road a couple times, uh, come out of it 2-0. and um, I think, you know, today's environment, uh, uh, much different than last week in, in some regard, but but ultimately opponent that knew, knew a bunch about us so we, and we didn't know a ton about them. Um, I, I think defensively, you know, to go three quarters and not give them a first down, that's a pretty significant uh, stat right there. So really proud of the defense, the way they came out and played. Offensively, I, you know, we I think it was just an uneven performance. I had more more inopportune penalties at times, um, especially in that first half. Um, you know that we're drive killers. We didn't quite uh, get the ball down the field in the passing game. Uh, we missed a couple opportunities there. You know, and, and and that score could look a lot differently. And and you know what? At, at the end of the day, to to go through a little bit of adversity and not always have it go our way. Um, it's okay too, you know. I think we came out in the in the third quarter and, and put together some things and and got on the board again. Um, got some guys, you know, some you know much needed experience across the board, offense, defense. Um, you know, ultimately yeah, that, that team play, played really hard. I know, um, you, you know, that's what you're going to get. That's their, their opener here. They're going to come out and play hard. I, I'm, I'm sure defensively they threw the kitchen sink at us and. You know, I think that'll that'll show us. You know, offensive line right now we're 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 way thinner than we would like to be, and um, the saving grace is that we'll we will get guys back. Um, and the guys that are now playing are, you know, the experience is going to go a long, long ways. Um, you know, ultimately when we hit our stride coming down this, uh, you know, a month or so down the road, I guess. So uh, happy to be two and zero. Happy to be going back home, get a chance to play in front of our fans next week, and. Um, keep uh, raising the bar. Any update on Tommy? He cr- He was cramping. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He had cramps in both calves, I guess. So should have gave the ball. And then he mentioned being thin on the offensive line. Is that uh, was Connor an injury, or can you say Connor will be okay? I just uh, I I couldn't tell you whether this is uh, play next week, miss next week. I don't know, but nothing uh, too crazy serious. So. A lot of unknowns in the Utah offense going in. I guess, what do you think? It's just the overall defensive performance, like you mentioned, not having a first down. Well, I think we went in uh, and felt like a whoever's playing quarterback will really dictate uh, what they like to do. And they went with Hill and um, number five. I, I know, you know, two contrasting styles. So I thought we, we handled that piece well and, and uh, certainly got them off, off balance. Um, yeah, I didn't get a first down for three quarters. So, uh, you know, I, I think... Uh, you know, I thought that effort on defense, and there was, there was some big third down plays in there. You know, it wasn't, uh, you know, we had to make some plays to, to not allow them to get a first down. Obviously, um, and they were they were going after it. And that kid's played a bunch of football in the Big Ten. I know that. So, um, yeah, I thought defensively we did a really good job. Uh, Jaden Perkins coming in. Um, I guess just you know, but, uh, obviously I know Connor was, was out, but uh, just. The decision to have him. Yeah, I feel like- uh, you know, Jaden's been a kind of a do it all on the inside, whether it's been at guard spots or center. I think there's a trust uh, trust that, you know what, he's going to go out and know, he's going to go out there and know what he's doing. Um, so for him to get a chance to play, I know Everett Carr was the the other interior guy that was kind of that, that in that next uh, grouping. And we need to figure that piece out. Uh, you know, who are our next best options and, and getting game experience like this and being able to evaluate those guys over you know maybe even a quarter plus of football is pretty important i know aiden kaplan got there got in there at center um zeke some more zeke you got a chance to get out there a little bit so um you know uh yeah i know when we started back in july it that offensive line depth looked a lot different and that that position group is is really gotten Hit hard and, and you know what? There's there's got to be a next guy up mentality. And then what what do we do? What can we do with those guys in the game? Is something that offensive staff is gonna have to keep figuring out. I forgot if you mentioned Burke. Anything about Burke's status? Myself. Yeah, you know what? I I, I hope Burke can, can get it going maybe next week. Um, he's not that far off. Uh, he's had just recurring soft soft tissue that. Uh, you know, has been bugging him probably for a month now. And, you know, he, we only went on the trip last week and could have been an emergency guy. We just chose not to bring him um, this week, let him heal this week, and, you know, we'll see what his status is for next week. Um, Scott, Trey, and Adam, and I guess Tommy taking up a few times too, kind of how, how those three kind of handled the rushing attack tonight. I, I think 
my guess is we're going to look at the film and they hit some runs and they miss some runs. Um, I, I just got a feeling that's the way it's going to look. And I was really good to see Jared White get in there. Um, you know, the game was still hanging the balance a little bit. I thought Jared did a good job. I know Colson got a chance to get in there at the end. Um, yeah, Tommy got out and, and ran a little bit a couple times. Um, I know we've, you know, we've tried to limit him um, a little bit through these first uh, this first stretch of the season. Um, you know, but again, I, I've said it before. I mean, the defense and, and you know, dictating our read game a little bit can keep the ball in his hands if they want to too. So, um, I think we got uh, a deep running back room as we've talked about, and um, it was good to see all four of those guys get a chance to run the ball today. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at uh, those field goals in the first half. I, I I felt like the first one was was low, and I think we felt like he really rushed the second second one he missed. So to get have him go back out in the second half and 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 make um, the one field goal and um, not missing those extra points, I guess through the game was good. I, you know, where Casey's going to be at uh, this coming week, I think is a little bit of a question mark still. So, you know, we got to keep um, evaluating. Uh, what our best option is there, and you know, uh, I guess to get out there and fail, and then come back and make one. Um, I, I, I suppose there's a positive piece to that. Passing game kind of started slow again, but it got going in the last two weeks. I yeah, think. yeah. Um, I think the disappointing thing in that, that first half is we missed a couple opportunities downfield. Um, in particular, the the deep ball to to Aiden is the one that stands out to me, um, and. You know, we got we gave up a sack down here um, in the red zone that kicked, that kicked us out. I mean, those are the two plays that kind of come to mind. And then, you know, when you're not in the flow, you don't get as many opportunities. But to your point, I think we bounced back in the second half. And I, I think the um, the plays Rohan Jones made, I think that's probably what in the passing game would stand out the most to me. I think we got the ball to Taco a couple times, and uh, he made some plays. So, um, yeah, I would – Mixed bag, I would say, as far as the way the passing game looked, but it's it's going to have to be part of, you know, uh, our arsenal, and we got I think we got a lot of capable guys, and to see Roe, probably in particular, take that step up, uh, step forward to tonight was really uh, important. You mentioned Taco, just they just returned a couple of big returns. Uh, just how, uh, how how nice is that? Yeah, you know, yeah, he he can flip the field, and and we had a good scheme um, set up, and, and it's it's not just him out there, uh, but but he's dangerous and he's reliable at all at the same time. I think to have that combination, it's not like you're rolling the dice. I, I think at a minimum he's going to field the ball, he's going to make really good decisions, but then, you know, he's he's got a knack for getting in the open and, and making some yards. So I don't know what his total was, but I think it was it was pretty significant as far as being able to flip the field in the punt return game tonight. So, Adam, I guess, first of all, just finding the end zone again tonight. How did it feel? Um, yeah, I mean, it felt great. Um, anytime you can get in the end zone, uh, it's a good feeling. Um, kind of just thankful for the be out there again with the starting guys. I mean, they're blocking they're blocking for me. There, there's holes there. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just grateful for that. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of talk going into this season about you getting more reps, right? And I guess the last couple of games, how has it felt to kind of be out there with everybody and just get, get, a lot of, get a lot of play on yeah, I think that's been huge for me, just development-wise, um, learning from Scotty, learning from the older guys, um, finally getting in there, finding my way. Um, you know, game reps are always different. You kind of got to get used to that speed again. Um, yeah, and it, it, it's been good. It's been fun. How, how fun has the season been so far, winning player of the week, having that 93-yarder in that crazy game, and now, you know, another good game today? Yeah, I mean, it's been really fun. I'm just, I'm just grateful, honestly. Um, grateful for this team. Um, I mean, anytime I get the chance to go out there, um, it, it's it's going to be fun. I'm going to have a good time. I know that. Um, playing for the Bobcats is the best thing in the world. And I'm just excited to get back home next week. How confident are you in this running back for this season? Uh, I'm extremely confident. I think um, Coach Mix does a really good job with us. I think we have five, six guys that can that can be out there at any given time. So, I mean, whether it's me or Scotty or Jared, um, I mean, in any one of those guys, we're extremely talented, and we all work really hard. Um, and I think we're all happy for each other. You know, it's competitive. It's, it's extremely competitive. But at the end of the, at the end of the day, um, we're just happy to get a win. How fun were those uh, plays where you're getting the direct snap, and there's a couple running backs next to you and Tommy behind you? And yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I mean, the, the defense is it definitely gets a little alerted. Um, it's kind of fun to see their reaction. They don't really know what's going to come. I think Coach Coach Walker does a good job of keeping the defense on their toes and yeah it's fun oh good all right thanks Ed. thanks guys thank you
So, Braylon, I guess just kind of the overall defensive effort tonight, what do you take away from this game? Yeah, I thought we had a great week of preparation, and uh, we're pretty dialed in and um, came out, tackled well, executed well, and, and everyone was doing their 111 flying around. So I thought it was, yeah. I thought you it was guys, good. As that's going on, do you realize you haven't allowed a first down for the first three quarters? It kind of didn't hit me. Um, it didn't hit me for a while, I'm not going to lie. Uh, probably maybe halftime. And then we, we kind of thought about it, and then we were like, don't let them get a first down, don't let them score, and then they, they eventually got it in the fourth quarter. So, But, no, we weren't thinking about it too much. Coach Daly talked about uh, the turnaround in uh, your article, just that you know he was on that team in 2006 that beat Colorado and lost mm -hmm. the division team right after. What was the conversation like being in New Mexico, staying dialed in into this game? Yeah, I think Coach Daly had a great perspective of it being on that team, and he told us that story on Monday and said that we got to go back to work. Like this is a this is the same thing, same situation that he was in, but we get to control it, right? And so we got went back to work on Monday, had a great week of preparation, and came out and uh, handled business the right way. So pretty nice start. Obviously, you're uh, you know you two and oh, two wins on the road. Um, mm -hmm. You know what's the confidence level like for this team? Take us to the locker room. Yeah, I think that we're just really focused on improving every week, going one and zero. And I thought we've done that the first two weeks, but we need to go back to work and, and focus on going one and zero next week. And luckily enough, we get to play in Bozeman, Gold Rush, and so it'll be a great great atmosphere and ready to get back home. It's the first time uh, in a long time that there have been two straight road games to start the season. And uh, just for your perspective, having played, not having that schedule to start, how what was this? What was this kind of stretch like the first two games? Yeah, it was a little different. I mean, I never played week zero, so that was early, kind of accelerated summer and fall camp and whatnot. And then uh, first two road games, I thought that was a good challenge. I mean, keeps you locked in. Um, yeah, it was just a good challenge. I thought the team handled it great.